sorry about this, man. Yeah, bees are after us now. Let's go. <laughs> and anytime we go over there now, the bees are gonna swarm us. Oh, hey, Gobi. You're with Trunker now, huh? <laughs> the beehive's like, I saw what you did with my friend. <laughs> Better not do it again. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. All of it? Really, bro? You need... <laughs> all of it? You need to learn to share. Ah, lovely water! Trunker feels great! Trunker, um, he, Trunker right now, now he looks like one of those nerds who's like, trying to look like he has abs. Like me. <laughs> when it's like, cute girl's coming. <laughs> That's what Trunker looks like right now. And we can hover from one tree to Trunker and get his jiggy, because we can't actually climb him. Two jiggies left. We also need to get that hollow honeycomb from the cactus. Alright, let's use the flight pad some more. Oh hey, there's a rain here. Let's fly through it and see what it's all about. Summon all the hidden rains of the ancients to beat the witch. Wait, really? That easy? Oh, sweet! I'll do that! <laughs> You thought you needed to collect a bunch of G's and go for the lair. No, they, these guys will actually beat Gruntilda for us! Alright, that's gonna be a little difficult to get. Uh, oh no, not the bees! <laughs> I appeared right next to the bees. Let's get away from them. Alright, let's try this. Ouch! Ouch! Woohoo! If I had taken one more point of damage, I would have had to destroy the other beehive. Banjo Kazooie are like, we are not happy with the way you're playing this game, man. <laughs> Surely you can do better. Oh, hey, another guy. He appeared right next to the other one. I'm coming, man. I want to defeat Grunty early. That's a cool position. There's no time limit for this either. Oh, hi, Grabba. With two health, I'm now very paranoid, because I don't want to have to collect all these notes again. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Only joking. We could only give you this. Well, I mean, that's better than nothing. But first... Actually, no. Not first. Get it? Thirst is a desert pun. Oops! <laughs> 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 Just smashes the jiggy. Oh well, we got it anyways. Hey, hey, there's a little door over here. And here's Gobi. Hey, Gobi, what's up? Hey, man, well, I love you, man. Hi, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> You're not still mad about me, at me for giving the tree some water, are you? Hey, it's okay, man. I, I still care about you. The, ooh, oh, I didn't mean to swipe your neck. No, that's okay. No, that, I want to just talk to you, man. Listen, you got to be... No, you, listen, okay, here. Uh, no, uh, that's a little too close, sorry. Right. Listen, bro. Listen. 
you can't be selfish, man. You had all that water, and the tree just needed a little bit of it, and you, and you were stubborn, and you refused. But I, I felt bad about smashing your back. But, I, you know, I did what I had to do to get my G, you know? And, and I hope that taught you a, a good lesson in humility and and the importance of charity. So here, man, let's let's bring it in for a hug. <laughs> and of course, if you're doing a manly hug, you gotta you know gotta give him a big pat on the back, right? Oh, I, I feel bad about that. Uh, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. <laughs> and then the name of the level changes from Gobi Valley to just Valley. <laughs> and that's enough to create a brand new health piece. <laughs> And that tops off our HP, and there are- Yeah! Did we say we were upset with the way you were playing the game? No, we're very happy. Also, this is another example, much like Shark Food Isle, where if you play this and if you get to this part of your game, there's going to be a wooden door in the way here. And you aren't able to open it. But it's open on my folder, I wonder why. What's in here? And here is a gold sarcophagus with nothing inside. Well, nothing for me, because I've already gotten it. I'll leave you to ponder this mystery. Anyhow, we only have one jiggy left, and it's in the Kazooie Pyramid. And what you're supposed to do instead of flying here is you're supposed to wait for a magic carpet to take you. <laughs> the magic carpet's like, wow, you're stupid. Anyhow, in order to enter the Kazooie Pyramid, we need the flight pad again. Ouch! The magic carpet's just like, really? The magic carpet's judging my abilities. He's like, just, come on, man. You were really bad at this game. You died in the Sphinx? Come on! Shut up, shut up judgmental carpet. Anyhow, you see the Kazooie up here. We gotta do a beak bomb into this. And this is why you can't go to Gobi's Valley first. Get the sneakers and then do Freeze Easy Peak so you don't have to backtrack because then you won't have the beak bomb from Freeze Easy Peak to do that. So no matter which which of these worlds you do first, you will have to backtrack to it after learning the move in the other one. This is our final room of Gobi's Valley. You found all 100 notes on this world! Well done! Hey man! Hello my friend! I am Ruby! Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy! Very good! I see some up there! It's yours if you can get it, yes? Up there? What do you mean? Oh, there is a jiggy up there, huh? So what we want to do is we got to stand on this, poop some eggs into this rotating basket. Which requires some decent timing. Ah, a thousand thanks! My friend Histup will now help you with your quest. Thank you! Now get the final jiggy! Thank you. Your work is appreciated. And that's everything in Gobi's Valley. I believe that's all the mumbo tokens, it's all the jiggies, all the notes, and both hollow honeycomb pieces, and we got the new move. So, what's the easiest way to kill ourselves? Actually, I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> I, I think that that's a good goal to have in life. You shouldn't want to kill yourself. That's a pretty low bar to get over, too. Just find, just find something worth living for. Even if it's small. Short term, that can be all you need. Whoa! You're best known to have bottles. I know, I'm amazing. I got 100% on that world. Wow, I just can't believe it! This pair of boots lasts like two seconds. Before we end the episode, we have some more stuff to do. We gotta get the two witch switch jiggies from the last, uh, this episode and the last one. 
And then we also are gonna go back to Freeze Easy Peak and get that last jiggy. Get over here. So we need to use the Shock Jump Disc in order to get to the inside the, the pyramid. Uh, once Kazooie's uh, here with me, if you go home, I'll set her free. I didn't read that because you interrupted me, Grunty. You need to use the Shock Jump Disc in order to get to Gobi's Valley. Which switch do you need? Alright. to Freeze Easy Peak and we're gonna get the last Jiggy in here. Cause we now have, <laughs> we now have the magical ability to wear sneakers. <laughs> this is one thing cause there's another Banjo cause we game on the N64 called Banjo 2E. The worlds in that are a lot bigger and you do a lot more, um, I'll say backtracking to the worlds because they're so big and you have to come back after learning a lot of new moves. And a lot of people don't like that. I actually think they did a very good job in Major 2 of doing that. And it's more meaningful than just things like this. Hey, buddy. Thanks to your race against Boggy. Press A to accept or B to check it out. Okay, buddy. Here's the rules. Run through the red slalom gates and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Alright, Boggy. I'm going to be more of a match for you. Faster. You're not trying back there. Alright, bud. Wait till we get to the upward slopes and I'm gonna jump up to this area. I go so much faster when you jump up slopes. Also, Boggy does have rubber band eyes, so if you get too big of a lead, he's gonna massively speed up in order to catch you. But then he will slow down again once he's caught up. Make sure you don't fall in the water there, because if you fall in the water, you lose your sneakers. And there aren't another pair on the course, so you really need to avoid the ice water. Wow. Okay, don't get- never mind, he didn't seem to slow down. Hard luck, buddy, but old Boggy wins this time. Oh! Now Banjo will never live up <laughs> from the shame. I thought the course was a little longer than that. Come on, buddy, you try again. I ate a razor beat to back out. Uh, uh, I'm Boggy. I'm lazy. I, I make you look after my kids instead of me. Uh, not sure what this was in here. Uh, Master man, sorry. Well, but I, I jumped over that slow game. That's fine. Now he's still slow. Yeah, watch how fast he's gonna be. He can run so far ahead. <laughs> he's all right. I'll turn on the cheats then. <laughs> Oh, that's the sound of the Twinkly Munchers, not Bog going there. Oh! Okay, I can't get in front of Boggy, basically. Hard luck, buddy! Oh, Boggy! <laughs> this game's winner is Boggy! Boggy for Smash Brothers! Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna beat you so bad that your sled's gonna break. <laughs> Oh, that was stupid. Alright, so I'm literally not even going to pass him until we get to the end. Because apparently, I thought if he, I thought his rubber band AI yeah, meant that once he caught up to you, he slows down again. No, he doesn't. So if you get too big of a lead, he's just going to permanently get a speed increase and it'll be impossible to beat. You! What? Are you kidding me? Boggy's like, oh, it sucks to be you! <laughs> Just smashes me off the cards. <laughs> oh, Boggy, it is so on. I'm gonna... <laughs> I really don't want to give up this jiggy, even though I have absolutely nothing to do with it. Boggy, I saved your life. I've saved your family. I literally did everything for you. And this is how you repay me? You are, wow, you are a 
<laughs> this is an example of how not to make a race. The way to beat this race is to not try until the very end. Because of how they, they have coded the mechanics. Like, literally, if you're good at the race, it punishes you. Alright, this is the part where we can do all the time. Yeah, see how much better I did when I literally didn't try for 80% of the race? Oh, I've lost again. Take my other medal. I'm off to look for my kid's present. I already got them your, your, your presents, bro. Although, actually, the presents might reset when you leave the world. I know I should be going out here my kids' presents, but I just really love to race on a sled. Burp, burp, burp. Alright, Boggy, you are not father of the year material. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll take the death here. <laughs> And that's how Banjo drowned in one inch of water. Well, how about that? Anyhow, last thing on our agenda for the day. Gotta get the Witch Switch Jiggy at the top of the advent calendar. And we can do that. With the help of the Turbo Treaders. That was close. Also, there's a <laughs> tunnel up here we can fly through, which is kind of cool. With the flight pad, we can fly up to the top of the advent calendar here. Grab us, Archie! Woohoo! We are only have three worlds left in the game, as you can see. Because we only have three more jiggies left to find in Grunty's Lair. And all of those are from Witch Switches. That's going to do it for this episode of Banjo-Kazooie, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and tune in next time. We will be delving even deeper into Grunty's Lair and visiting World 7. And World 7 is one of my favorites. So, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.